and ho 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 welcome everyone to the next facebook live with orca torch and this is the christmas edition welcome everyone we are streaming this all the way from malaysia to the rest of the world to the rest of you guys there and we've made some changes uh, mainly because we have shifted our time to enable us to reach more people in the United States of America. So um, if you're from the US, do let us know how you feel about this because right now it's good evening USA and good afternoon to most of Europe and in Malaysia. It's good morning to you guys. All right, so my name is Baron and uh, I'm a filmmaker from Wolfang Digital Video Production. These are my social media handles over here, right? Okay, so if you want to follow me, you want to chat me up, I'm all over here. We've got our Facebook, our Instagram, and um, we've got, no, we've got our YouTube, our Facebook, and also our website. And for Orca Torch, this is Orca Torch social media handles. We've got their Facebook, their Instagram, and their website, and anything pertaining to question and answers, especially warranty products, uh, you can reach them at service at orcatorch.com now i'm going to just uh, pop in for a bit onto the comments to see how's everyone and uh, if everyone is receiving us clear let's go over to see the comments now florida okay i see you florida who's from florida ah miss that i'm in the usa and good timing who's that who's that, who's that? david 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 hi david in the USA, David, where's David from? He didn't say. And I thought you were from Singapore. No, we're from, <laughs> we're from Malaysia and uh, we're actually pretty close by. So uh, even, even then we're so close, right? But we, can't, we still can't go down there because of circumstances. Uh, thank you from USA. Great. I see that we're, we're reaching USA. I'm in Canada and I'm okay with both. Hi, Barrett. Oh, I missed your name. Sorry about that. Sounds good. Michigan. Who's that? Who's that? Okay, all right, so we've got Michigan, um, and I don't know if Dawn is here. Dawn is from Michigan. Um, okay, Belgium is midnight. Oh, <laughs> going good. Okay, sorry about that, Belgium. Belgium's in midnight, so some parts of Europe uh, is midnight. Uh, I know Germany for a fact is afternoon, I think, right? Okay, great, great, great. We've got somebody else from Florida. Who's from Florida? David Lewis from Florida. All right, who said yes, la? Who said that? Yes, la. DJ Cartoon. Oh, okay. Now, let me see if I can uh, see the comments. Okay. No problems. There. It's gonna, that's going to take too long. So, we're going to move on with... Oh, hello from Philippines. Philippines. Kumusta? Correct? Hi. Hi from Philippines. All right. And Argentina is in... Argentina is midnight. That's in South America. Uh, so, can you believe it? North America, South America, right? So it's like one is in midnight and the other, I think Washington is uh, 9 p.m. right now. I'm from Florida. Oh, we've got a few Floridians here, right? Okay, speaking about Florida, right? Um, this morning, this morning I woke up to a freezing temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. That's 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. That's as cold as it gets down here in the equator. How is the temperature over in the US? Um, are you guys experiencing any snow yet? How is it freezing down there? I know for a fact, Shemek from Poland uh, recently messaged me. He said that in Poland, he showed me a video in Poland. It is white out, you know, it's snowing. Korea, we've reached someone from Korea. What's, who's from Korea? Can you tell me the name? I can't see it from here. Chun Sung? Chun Sung Lim. Lim. Oh, welcome from Korea. Anyong Aseo, correct? Correct, Is that, did I say that right? <laughs> uh, okay, um, so it's a freezing 24 degrees Celsius, 75 degrees Fahrenheit over here, and we had to put on blankets and stuff. Uh, yes, yes, we do get zero degrees in Malaysia. Yes, we do get zero degrees in Malaysia, like how you get in the US, sub-zero temperatures. Yeah, our version is 
will get 0% of a white Christmas this year or any time of any year for that matter, all right? Okay, so um, now uh, let's see. Tonight is the Christmas edition. So what we have in store for you, right, is that we have lots of interviews and greetings and wishes from our ambassadors and product testers from all over the world, USA included. We have some from Mexico, we have Germany, we have uh, Norway, right? So we're gonna uh, show you their greetings. And also we're going to be doing some giveaways. And I wanna show you what kind of giveaways we blanket I just needed a few Orca Tosh flashlights on turbo directed at me. Who said that? That is so cute. <laughs> Who said that? Need a blanket? He just needs some. Huh? Lumen Max. Lumen Max. Hi, Lumen Max. I see your name is in the lucky draw. So wait for it, right? I see your name is already in the lucky draw. So Lumen Max says, blanket. I just need a few Orca Tosh flashlights on turbo directed at me. Yeah, they, they can be pretty, pretty intense. Yeah, the lights can be pretty warm. Okay, um, I'd like to show you the items that we have in store for you for tonight's giveaway. So, uh, they are the D710. I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay, so this is the D710 dive torch. This is how it looks like. It has a beam angle of uh, 6 degrees. So, it's a very narrow beam to be able to shoot through the darkness to get you good visibility at long distances. Now, this torch is push button torch. So, you press a button to turn on the torch. Yeah, so this torch is different from the rest because it's push button as opposed to rotary switch. You've got three lighting modes for this torch starting at a maximum intensity of 1700 lumens brightness and then you press the switch again to go to 800 then 300 lumens at the lowest also this is a special torch because it uses a usb rechargeable battery yes usb rechargeable battery so this uses a usb rechargeable battery that means right the best part about this torch is you do not need a charger. You don't need to bring a charger with you. Yeah. So when you go to your travels, right, you bring charger for everything else. This torch, no charger. You charge the battery. Well, actually, you just plug in a USB cable onto the battery and you're charging it. Okay, now, uh, there is one more mode for the D710 and that is the turbo. So like what Lumen Max, that's a nice name, Lumen Max. <laughs> like what uh, Lumen Max has mentioned just now, this is a turbo mode. So when you hang on to the switch, you will, you will get a blast of 3000 lumens from this torch uh, for a limited time, but you get that huge blast of uh, brightness. Okay, so the last one, you know, um, this is a waterproof torch up to 150 meters. So most of us don't go up to 150 meters. So this is good news for you. You can, you can take this torch really low. Okay, um, now uh, we're going to see if there are any comments, anything you want to ask about this torch. Let's see if there's anything. Okay, so far, uh, love to do USB charging. Great job. Yeah, USB charging seems to be the future plans for most of Orca Torch products moving forward. So we're likely to see that many of the torches may not be uh, charging batteries the conventional way, it most probably would be through USB charging. Okay, okay, so uh, <coughs> my producer has uh, mentioned that uh, before we continue with the live stream, uh, we want to address the issues that have been facing all of us around the globe. Um, especially since that this is the Christmas edition live stream. See my face suddenly got all serious, right? Yeah, since this is the Christmas edition live stream and we are on the age of a new year, 2021. So, <clears throat> I just like to say that um, let us observe um, a brief moment of silence uh, for those who have been affected by the pandemic. 
we want to do this in remembrance of those who have been affected by the pandemic and also out of respect for them. So, um, okay, and also for those of us who lost loved ones, family, friends, we just want to put that out there and we want to say that, um, you know, we remember you all too clearly. And this has been a difficult year. <coughs> Excuse me. This has been a difficult year for every one of us. No one has been spared from this. So let's uh, have a moment of silence. I just, I just, yeah, okay. Okay, so it's back to the Christmas edition again. Let's see, I get my cap right. Okay. All right, guys, so that was the D710. Now let's look at the next item, which is going to be the giveaway for tonight. Now, two of you will be bringing this back home with you. Well, after they, they're going to deliver it to you, right? So I don't know whether you're going to reach it. I don't know whether it's going to reach you by Christmas or not, but this will be in your... Well, this will be your gift, right? So this is a dry bag from Orca Torch. It is a five liter capacity dry bag and is made of riptop tarpaulin. So it's very strong material. And uh, we've got a roll top enclosure. So you roll it up, buckle it, and then, you know, it secures all your belongings. Uh, now, this is perfect for holiday gift for family and friends. So if you're looking for that perfect gift, right, for an Orca Tosh fan or, an, or somebody who you care about, you can, somebody who loves the ocean, who loves water sports, who loves the water, this could be the perfect gift for them. Okay, next we're going to look at the cap. Now, this is the Orca Tosh premium cap. What's so special about this cap, right? Now, this cap is... Fanboy certified. <laughs> so if you're an Orca Torch fanboy, you know, I, I think we have a few of those around as I was looking through Orca Torch uh, comments box right in their Facebook and also Instagram. We've got quite a number of fanboys. So do you already have the cap? If not, here's your chance to win it in the lucky draw. So it's fanboy certified and it's adjustable size, which means you, I mean, however small, big, you know, you can adjust the size. Also, now, because you're a hotshot diver, you need to stay cool. Okay, so, because hotshot divers need to stay cool. So, this is a perfect cap for you. Now, um, so these are the items that we will be giving out to you for tonight. Yeah, so let's see who is going to win this. Now, um, okay, I want to tell you about what we've asked our brand ambassadors and product testers to do, uh, we've asked them what are their Christmas wish for Orca Tosh products. You get me? So it's like, what Orca Tosh products would you like to find delivered to you on Christmas? What would you like Santa? What would you like Santa to send you from Orca Tosh? Okay, so we asked them that, and we asked them to give us their greetings and Christmas wishes. So, we have them all lined up for you to watch. However, before they come on screen, I like to kick this off first. So, for me, uh, what Orca Torch product would I like to get for Christmas? Okay, here's the thing. Uh, I'm one of the lucky few who already have more than three quarters of Orca Torch product series with me. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this are uh, okay. This is live, right, guys? This. So this is live. <laughs> this is live. Okay, so these are these are the torches that I have with me right now, and um, yeah, they're all here in Malaysia. So, um, what Orca Torch products would I like to have for this Christmas? I think you know my answer. Um, 
However, if you want to see any of these torches close up, I can show them to you, right? Um, I can open them up, I can show them to you. So if you have any one of these models uh, that you'd like to see, just type in the comments and I'll get right on it. Um, I mean, later, later I'll get right on it to show you. All right. Um, okay. Yes. So, uh, so instead of an Orca Torch product, right, I, my wish for this Christmas is the time, the time and the opportunity to be able to use all these gorgeous products, all these beautiful, excellent torches. I wish for the time to be able to use this, which means I wish that this craziness around all of us would come to an end and that we can all return back to the sea. Okay, so yeah, that, that's my wish uh, because this year has been one long unending series of sea urchin bites, right? It really stings this year. So we're all hoping that the new year would bring us some reprieve. Yeah, okay, so that's my wish. Uh, any comments? <laughs> yeah, somebody wants a D530V. What is the smallest orca torch with the highest lumens? That is a really good question. Can I know who asked that? I can't, I can't see it from here. Lisa Lewis. Lisa Lewis uh, is asking, what is the smallest orca torch with the highest lumens? That's a really good question. I, for one, do not know that and I don't think I have it here. Smallest with highest lumens. I'm not quite sure. So orca torch, yeah, I forgot to mention, the orca torch team has stayed up no, the Orca Tosh team has woken up together with me this early morning to be here for all of you. So Orca Tosh is listening to us, right? And um, I think uh, Orca Tosh, you need to answer. Please answer Lisa Lewis. She's asked a really relevant question. <coughs> yeah, so hope Orca Tosh brings some light into our lives. Yes, Roy. Okay, Roy, I hear you. I feel you. And I wish that too. They've been shining brightly throughout the year because uh, they've been releasing quite a number of products over this year. And uh, it's been really encouraging and inspiring to know that, you know, they are still, they are going strong despite circumstances around us. Okay, so what do we have in store for us next? Are we looking at the ambassador's videos? <clears throat> okay, hold on, hold on. What is the largest light with the least lumens? <laughs> Why is this even a question, right? What is the largest light with the least lumens? Okay, that one I definitely don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know why I would want to. Why would you want that? Okay, anyway, Orca Torch, this is your department, your expertise. I want the highest lumens torch do you have. Okay, let's go on to the, uh, the close-ups. So you asked... You want the highest lumens torch. Do you have it? We have the D950V over here. It's this guy. This is the D950V. Uh, it has 10,500 lumens. So this light is super bright and it's got a wide beam. So it's more suitable for underwater videography and underwater photography. So that's the D950V. So to answer your question, this guy over here, right? Okay, now let's... Oh, joking. Someone says, okay, they're joking. Okay, so we don't have to answer that question. <laughs> I think they want a candle. Who said that? Matt, Matt, Matt Carter. Matt Carter. I think they want a candle. <laughs> you take a candle, right? And then you put it into a thingy, canister, right? And then you dive down with it. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, now... um. Uh, now, let's uh, move on to the next item. The comments will still be around. We'll still be monitoring them. So we're going to move on to the next item, which are the ambassador's interviews. So the first uh, ambassador, the first person that we're going to uh, see is Dean Manhattan. Dean is from Australia. And Dean is a product tester for Orca Torch. And uh, Dean is going to show us... Um, Okay, you, you need to see what is Dean's wish list for this Christmas. Okay, he kind of like wants everything. Okay, let's, let's, let's have a look at Dean's video. My name's Dean and I'm here in Australia and I'm going out to test some of these brand new torches by Orca Torch. Keep an eye out for my reviews on YouTube as I put the torches through the paces. What Orca Torch product is on my Christmas wish list? Well, that's easy. 
A tray with dual handles to mount my GoPro to and two D910V video lights. I hope Santa's listening. Our thoughts go out to those countries struggling with COVID as they approach their winters, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas from down under. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you too, Dean. And uh, did you see Dean's wish list, right? He's got like an entire setup for underwater video. He's got, he, he, he'd like to have a, a tray. He'd like to have uh, two, is it D910Vs? Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's what Dean wants. Okay, next we have with us uh, Ferran, Ferran Sanchez. Ferran Sanchez is from Spain. He is our ambassador, brand ambassador. And uh, Ferran is going to show us what, he's going to tell us, Ferran's going to tell us what are his favorite Orca Tosh uh, diving lights. And this is for video. So, uh, Ferran, all yours. Hello, everyone. I'm Ferran Sanchez, an underwater photographer from Barcelona. I would like to recommend you my favorite eye light of Orca Torch. It's Dye 910V. It's powerful, it's compact, it's my favorite. And this year, I especially wish you a happy Christmas. So that was Fran Sanchez. Fran Sanchez, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you too. Feliz Navidad. And Ferran has uh, told us that he likes the powerful D910V for his underwater videos. And he's, he's an underwater photographer, so he mostly uses them for underwater photography. So that was Ferran Sanchez from Spain, Barcelona. Next up, we are going to have Franco Tuli. Franco Tuli is Orca Tosh brand ambassador and he's from Italy. Uh, Franco is going to tell us how he feels about this year and um, it's a very nice wish that he has. Um, he's also thanking Orca Tosh for uh, how it has helped him throughout the year. Okay, so Franco Tulli, take it away. Hi, I am Franco Tulli, underwater photographer and brand ambassador of, of Orca Tosh. This year, the sending has been a difficult year and for many workers in the sector, really tired. Luckily, there was Orca Tosh who proposed many new fantastic products, which I am sure will uh, allow us to give a better light to the new year to come. A great wish and uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays <coughs> and a bright 2021. Be safe. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you, Franco Tulli from Italy, brand ambassador of Orca Torch. And as Franco, Frank, as, uh, Franco Tulli has mentioned, um, Orca Torch has been adding some joy to many of us uh, because of the products that they've been creating that bring us joy. So thanks for that nice message. And uh, next, we're going to have with us Frank LeMay from the Netherlands. And Frank has taken the effort to go and film himself over this really gorgeous, I think it's a sunrise, could be sunset. And um, yeah, so check out his beautiful sunrise. Frank LeMay from Netherlands, all yours. Good morning, Orca Torch fans. This is Frank LeMay, Orca Torch ambassador from the Netherlands. And I wish you a Merry Christmas and a very happy 2021. Hopefully with a lot of diving again, and I personally hope to be diving in the tropics again next year with the Orca Torch D950V. Okay, that was Frank Lamy from the Netherlands. Thank you for that nice uh, wish and that nice message, uh, Frank Lamy. Next with us would be the lovely Kate Jonker from South Africa. And in a way, Kate's message right, sums up what we've all been feeling, feeling throughout this year. Kate has a very nice uh, heartwarming wish for all of us as well. And Kate uh, also shares with us what Orca Tosh products should love to have when Christmas arrives. Okay, so Kate Jonker, South Africa, all yours. Hi, this is Kate Jonka from Cape Town in South Africa and I'd like to let you know that I'm thinking of you over this festive season. 
2020 wasn't the greatest year for any of us, and I do hope that 2021 will be a healthy, happy and prosperous year for all. If Father Christmas could bring me one gift this year, I would love that to be the Orca Torch D950V, which is a 10,500 lumen video light. The oceans in Cape Town are absolutely beautiful, and I'd love to take some more videos to share with you the amazing creatures that we have under the ocean right here. But in the meantime, take care, stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing all of you again in 2021. Bye. Okay, so Kate Jonker from Cape Town, South Africa. Thanks for your lovely message. Very heartwarming, very touching. And we all feel you, Kate. We've all gone through the same. Okay, next, uh, what we have, we, who we have with us next is Catherine Lu from Singapore. Very close to home. She's just south of us. So close yet so far. You know what I mean? And... Uh, now, Catherine has, some, Catherine has some excellent advice, right, for us to beat this pandemic. So let's see what she has to say. And uh, also pay attention, she, pay attention she, she's telling us that she wants a certain dive torch for a certain activity that she's doing. All right, so maybe you can recommend something to her. Catherine Lu, Singapore. Hi, my name is Catherine Liu, and I am based in Singapore. And my one Christmas wish for this year is that we all stay safe and healthy and wear our masks. Why? Because I want to go traveling next year and go diving. Yay! I'm sure many of you feel the same way, and I think together we can all be responsible and beat this pandemic. And Orchid Torch products are great, and my one wish for Christmas would be to get a narrow beam spotlight with high lumens, like one that's used in technical diving, so that when I go on my black water dives in the nighttime, I can use it as a searchlight to find those interesting and elusive critters that are hiding in the darkness. So that is my one product wish. And lastly, I just want to say Merry Christmas, um, happy holidays, and let's look forward to a great 2021. Bye-bye. Catherine Lu, Happy New Year, and uh, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year to you too. Um, so, you know, excellent advice for us to beat this thing that's all around us. Uh, one thing that Catherine has asked is, uh, she'd like, she, she wants a dive torch, right? that can help her with blackwater diving. So which torch would you recommend her for blackwater diving? Uh, any suggestions? Because she did not specify a model. So what do you think for those of us who are experienced with blackwater diving, right? What would you recommend, Catherine? Next, all the way from Switzerland, we have Matthias Liebo, who is an underwater cinematographer. Now, Mat Matthias will show us what are his favorite Orca Tosh dive lights right now and what he wishes he can have for Christmas. What Orca Tosh products he can have for Christmas. He'll show you all this. Matthias Libo from Switzerland. Hi there, dear Orca Torch family. My name is Matthias Libo and I'm an underwater cinematographer and filmmaker based in Zurich, Switzerland. Now, I've been using the Orca Torch products for quite some while, like for example, their D910V underwater video light, which I like uh, because of its compact size and its ease of use. And I've also been using the D530 underwater flashlight, primarily as my backup light. Now for this Christmas, I wish to find the D950V underwater video light underneath my Christmas tree, Orca Torch's powerful yet compact underwater video light. What is your Orca Torch wish for this Christmas? Merry Christmas to everyone. Have a fantastic time with your loved ones and a happy new year. 
Yes, that was Matthias Libo from Switzerland. And as you can see, uh, so far we have a number of folks who are telling us that the D910V seems to be their favorite. And uh, so far, is this the first? Um, I think this would be uh, one of the first who has actually told us that they want the D950V for Christmas. And as we go along the other interviews, you'll notice that one of these lights are slowly becoming the most popular light and at the top of everyone's wish list, especially if you're an underwater photographer and an underwater videographer. Okay, so, so far we've got two lights that are in the spotlight right now, the D910V and the D950V. Uh, the next interview we're going to have is with Michael. I don't know if I pronounce his name correctly. It's Michael Bio um, from Norway. Now, Michael um, does a certain activity um, that requires a certain dive light because it's really dark and his activity is unusual for many of us. So, and I also like uh, Michael's uh, Christmas wish. Uh, pay attention to his Christmas wish. We can all aspire to that. Also check it out. He has this little prop right that is right next to him that kind of tells us his ancestral roots. Okay, so check it out. This is Michael Bio from Norway. Hello everybody, this is Michael from Norway. My Christmas wish this year from Orca Torch would be the D850 because I do a lot of spearfishing and night diving out in these dark and cold waters up here. It would be really awesome with a powerful torch with a long run time. In general, I wish for a healthier ocean with less pollution. I know it's difficult, but it is my wish. Merry Christmas to you all. So did you catch what Michael was uh, wishing for? So he wants to do some spear fishing, all right? And he's doing um, his diving and spear fishing in really dark, really murky waters. So that's a special light that uh, he needs for that activity. Okay, so uh, that's Michael from Norway. And the next is next coming up is Natasha. And she's also from Switzerland, like uh, Matthias. So Natasha, with Natasha, um, she's, a, she's a scuba diving instructor as well as a free diving instructor. Wow. And uh, she wants a torch that she can strap onto her mask. Right, she'll explain further. And uh, I like uh, Natasha's message because it's really inspiring. Okay, for whatever lows we are in, right? Uh, just listening to her would really inspire us. So this is Natasha from Switzerland. Hello everyone, I am Natasha. I am from Switzerland where I teach scuba diving and free diving. If I had to put one product on my wish list for this Christmas, it would be a mini dive light that I can fix on my mask when I free dive. So a very small and handy light such as the Orca Torch D560 that does not disturb when I free dive, but still that I can see something down there in the lake when it's a bit darker. So I wish you happy holidays. Of course, this year everything is a bit different, but let's do the best out of the situation. Um, I hope you will be able to dive, enjoy the time, and Merry Christmas. Oh, Natasha, thank you for the inspiring message. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you too. Natasha is wishing for a D560. Uh, a D560 that... See, the thing is, Natasha is one of the few uh, free divers that... Uh, that uh, I've, I've met currently in the Orca Tosh community. Uh, there might be many of you, maybe I've not met most of you, right? But Natasha is one of them who is a free diver and who wishes for a torch that she can strap on to her mask. So most of us are divers. We've never really considered that. So if you want something you can strap on to your mask and it's unobtrusive, it does not hinder your movements in any way, you know, you can have full use of your hands. The D560 could be something you can look into. So that was Natasha uh, from Switzerland. And next we have my favorite, okay, one of my favorite underwater photographer. And uh, I don't know whether he's in here or not in uh, the live stream with us because uh, Szemek Sistalka from Poland, uh, we featured him on our previous live stream. He, he 
his pictures are hauntingly beautiful, romantic at the same time. And uh, you're free, go and check him out on Instagram. That's where he's most active. So um, Shamek will be telling us what torch he currently uses and what torch he wish he could get for Christmas, right? He also tells you why. So this is, what time is Poland right now? Right, anyway, uh, this is Shemek Sistalka from Poland. Hi, my name is Przemek Przystałka. I am underwater photographer from Poland. I use Orca torch D910 V video light. This is a fantastic lamp. I wish for a powerful Orca torch D950V with beautiful color of light. I would like to wish you Merry Christmas, amazing diving and Happy New Year 2021. Stay safe. See you. Thank you Shemek for the beautiful message and uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you too Shemek. Um, okay, Shemek, right? Did you see his gear on the table? That's that's how that's as an underwater photographer. That's what he uses, right? He's got this helmet here that has torches attached to it as well. So I hope you saw that. Um, okay, uh, the comments. Can we go and have a look at the comments? So we've got uh, Lisa Lewis is asking. Is well, she's saying that lights on mask for hunting at night would be perfect. Okay, so Orca Torch, do take note of uh, Lisa's uh, advice. And there's another one coming in. Uh, you guys should sell a mask with the light built into it. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? What's his name? David. Lewis. David Lewis. Previous one was Lisa Lewis. Same surname? Okay, so David Lewis is saying that you guys should you know, sell a mask with the uh, lights built into it. Right, so that is uh, for hunting, I, I, I assume, right? I presume it's for hunting. So uh, we in Malaysia, that's, uh, that's not really a thing we're allowed to do. So um, however, for you over in the USA, Orca Torch is listening. And uh, maybe I'll chat one of you up to see how it's like uh, this uh, spear fishing, you know, because I'm quite curious. Um, okay, next, uh, what we have uh, for us is Rafael Fernandez, also from Spain. He's an Orca Torch ambassador. Now, uh, Rafael already has his favorite Orca Torch light. So he's the kind of guy who is like, kind of like me, right? I've got everything. So, you know, so what do you get a guy who has everything in terms of torches? Okay, now we're going to welcome our incredibly handsome uh, Rafael Fernandez from Spain. Hello everybody, my name is Rafael Fernandez from Spain. For this Christmas, I'd love to have any of the Orca Torch dive lights because I'm in love with them. I'm using 950V right now, but maybe for this Christmas, I think that a great present it would be the 910 because it would be a smaller torch for me and any case, any of these dive lights are always amazing. So, wish you all the best for this 2021 and I hope that we can dive a lot and enjoy this new year. So, take care and Merry Christmas. Okay, Rafael. Rafael is like, uh, you know, hey guys, you know, I've got, I've got it all, you know, but well, if you can get me something small, it would be nice as well, <laughs> Rafael. Thank you so much for that and a Happy New Year, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you too. Uh, now, next up we have another product tester and uh, he's coming in from the US of A and of all places, right, California. Rick Coleman is getting us all really jealous because, I don't know, he did this on purpose. He set himself down on a cozy fireplace. He put on some nice, mellow, uh, Christmas carols, and that's where he did his interview. Oh, we're so jealous of you. Okay, Rick Coleman, there you go. Hi, this is Rick Coleman with Christmas Greetings from California. I currently have a lot of great Orca Torch lights, but I'm currently lacking an Orca Torch for video. I do have these two older D810Vs, but they're not up to the current Orca Torch standards like the D910 or the D900V. My Christmas wish is for us to finally get 
this COVID behind us. A lot of divers are stuck at home right now and getting dry gills, and that's no good. Until next time, Merry Christmas. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Oh, come on, Rick. <laughs> Such a nice fireplace you have there. Thanks for sharing with us, Rick. Uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you too, Rick, from California. Now, uh, the next message, right, is coming to us from Australia. And this is Tom Park. His message is short and sweet. So don't miss it. This is Tom Park from Australia, underwater cameraman and also Orca Torch brand ambassador. Merry Christmas! My name's Tom Park and I'm a professional underwater filmmaker from Australia. This year, I'd be wishing for something with a little more power to make my videos stand out that much more. Something like the Orca Torch D950V. Stay safe and have a happy holidays. There you go, right? That's another D950V that people wish to see in their Christmas stocking. I don't know whether the stocking can support the weight, but it's D950V again, if you notice, right? Uh, D910V, D950V, these are the torches that keep coming up. And uh, there is a reason why, because they are so bright and uh, the beam is so bright, so powerful, so wide, because it's great for underwater photography and videography. Um, next, we have on our list, someone from Tulum, Mexico. He's based over there. He's a underwater photographer, videographer, and a product tester for Orca Torch. Now, uh, Tom St. George has a, I wouldn't say a unique Christmas list, but uh, go ahead. This is Tom St. George from Mexico. Hi, Tom St. George here. I'm an underwater photographer and videographer based in Tulum, Mexico. And on behalf of Orca Torch and myself, I would like to wish everyone out there a very safe and a very Merry Christmas. My Orca Torch Christmas wish would be for two D950V video lights. These are the 10,000 lumen, uh, very nice colors, very nice wide soft beam, so good for high-end video work. Um, so I'd be very excited to wake up on Christmas Day and find a couple of those under the tree. Um, so once again, happy holidays to everyone out there and thanks for tuning in. Can you believe Tom St. George? We, we asked him, you know, uh, what would you, if you can get any product from Orca Torch, which product would you get? And I think he, he went like, oh, what the heck, you know, since uh, you asked me anyway, I'll have two of those, please. So he's wishing for two D950Vs from Orca Torch. <laughs> wow, since you can have everything, you know. Tom St. George, thank you for your message and um, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you. Next, we're going to have a really short greeting and a really short message from Orca Torch, starting with our beloved Jimmy from Orca Torch. These are some of the Orca Torch team who have decided to come and uh, greet you guys. Okay, and Orca Torch team, all yours. Hello everyone, this is Jimmy from Orca Torch. Wish you and your family Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in 2021. Safe diving. Yep, so that was the Orca Torch team. That was just a few of them, right? Uh, the rest are all busy working to create products, beautiful products for you. So um, what we're going to do next is to proceed to our lucky draw. However, uh, before we move on to that, right, I just want to show you, uh, this is the Orca Torch cap. We have two of these to give away for tonight. Yeah, tonight USA, this morning Malaysia. Yeah, we have two of these to give away. So this is a premium cap, right? It's a premium cap. It's uh, it's size adjustable. It's embroidered. Can we have? Let's let's go and have a look at a close up, so you guys will know what you you're looking at. This is Fanboy certified Orca Torch cap. There you go. So this is the cap that uh, two of you will be bringing home today. Well, they're going to deliver it to you, so you'll be getting new ones. Okay, check out the beautiful piping over here. 
the embroidery that you have. It's fanboy certified, so two of you will be bringing this home. And then we also have the. Uh, <coughs> so this is the five liter Orca Tosh dry bag. See, I can almost disappear into it, right? This is the dry bag. <laughs> All fanboys and girls are tuned in now. <laughs> Who said that? Give me the name. Who said that? Don't know. Oh, the Gen Vix. Okay, so this is how I'm going to show it to you on the uh, the close up. All right. So it's made of uh, high strength tarpaulin. Okay, so this is how it looks like. You've got the buckles over here. These are your buckles, right? And this is how it looks like. Okay, so it's a five liter pack. So pretty darn huge. And uh, you, you get the strap. The strap is here. You get this. Okay, so you, you can sling it. It's a sling, right? So you sling it across your shoulder and uh, you run, all, run off into the boat with it. Yeah, so you can carry all your... Uh, if you go to Oscar Tosh website, you can see they, they're, they're putting an entire uh, canister light into it. It fits, right? More than enough space. So this is how, how it looks like. Uh, I want to show you the... So this is all built to last, yeah? All right, guys and girls, fanboys and fangirls. So that's uh, what you'll be getting for tonight. I want to show, wait, there's uh, anything I need to mention? <laughs> Santa Orca Torch. Santa Orca Torch at your service. <laughs> okay, um, let's go on to the name list. So, uh, this is the name list for those who have been shortlisted uh, because prior to this, Orca Torch had a post. Orca Torch had a post on their Facebook page requesting that you tell them what is the product you would like to have for Christmas, right? And many of you have replied. And I want to show you this list before we go on to the lucky draw. The reason I'm showing you this list, right, is because there's so many of you, right? So our spinner wheel will not be able to show your name so clearly. So do check to make sure that, uh, that your name is there. So this is how the spinner wheel looks like. And this is how we do our lucky draw. Okay, that, that's our spinner wheel, our infamous spinner wheel. Uh, I think I'm just going to call her Susie. Now Susie here is going to spin out your name. And uh, we've made Susie more pretty compared to last time. Last time she was a little bit, we can't really see the names, right? Now we can see the names much clearly. And she's occupying a much bigger space because she's like such a VIP, right? Okay, Susie, 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 Susie. Okay, let's go on back to the names again. Uh, let's, let's have a look at the, the name list. So that's you guys who have participated in the Orca Torch uh, Christmas event on Facebook page. The giveaway, I repeat, would be two dry bags, two caps, and one D710 dive torch. Okay, uh, let's go on to the lucky draw. Uh, bef before that, right, let's move to the, uh, the chat. Let's go to the chat. Okay, is there anything I, I need to answer? Hello, Susie. <laughs> Susie. Susie, you've got a fan there. Dijen, Dijen Wise, is it? Dijen, Dijen Wise? Wix. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I can't really see your name. So, am I on the list? Who is that? Yeah, so do you see your name on the list? <laughs> go back to the list, please. Okay, let's, let's go back to the list. Okay, these are those who have been shortlisted. Uh, by Orca Torch, 
the Orca Torch team has gone through all the comments and if you've met their requirement, they have entered your name into this shortlist. Okay, and this will be on Suzy. And Suzy will pick five of you tonight. Okay, Ken? Uh, now let's see if there are any questions before we go to the lucky draw, right? I want to know if... Uh, I don't know if you guys have any any questions with the torch. Is there any torch that you like to see in detail in close up? If there are, I can show it to you right now. Uh, let's move on and have a look. Let's move on and have a look. Move over to have a look at the close ups. Okay, so uh, yeah, before we move on to the lucky draw. Just want to show you some of the torches that I already have so that if there are any one of them that uh, you'd like to see close up, right? You can, you can uh, let me know. Okay, go back to the close up again. I want to show you the D710. Is this the D710? No, this is a D530V. Okay, some of them look alike, yeah? Yeah, D710, alright, this is the torch that uh, is being featured. Okay, so this is how he looks like. Okay, now the battery has been removed. Yeah, it's so light right now, so I think the battery is, yo, the battery has been removed. So I'm going to go and quickly pop over, right, to go and look for the battery. You guys just stay with me, right? you got no choice. You gotta stay with me because uh, the lucky draw is just around the corner. <laughs> so be patient. Um, let me see where the battery is. Yep, I'm looking for it right now. That's what all the rummaging you hear is me looking for the batteries. Okay, uh, I think this is it. Yeah, this should be it. Okay, let's go back to the D710. Okay. So, this is the battery. As you can see, right, um, this is a USB rechargeable battery. So, this is a USB-C. So, it's a much faster recharge rate compared to the regular USB. Okay, so it's USB-C. You put it in. And then, this is a push-button torch. So you push the button to turn it on. Okay, so it comes in uh, three different levels of brightness. One, two, three. Okay, so if you notice, right, the torch starts off with uh, the brightest lumens first, 1700 first, followed by the lower one and followed by the lowest. Okay, there is also another mode called the turbo. Let's see if I can activate it. Okay, this is the turbo. So when I hold down the button, as I hold down the button, you notice this is a 3000 lumen blast of light. Okay, it's double the regular brightness. That is your D710. Previously, we featured the D511. So as you can see, the size difference. The D511 is more for technical divers because it has a very long run time. And really powerful too. Alright guys. Now, let's see. Are we ready? Is Suzy ready? Is Suzy all oiled and ready? Sorry about that. <laughs> Rephrase. Is Suzy all set up and ready? So the first, uh, do we have any comments? Uh, anybody unsure of something? No comments, right? Okay. So uh, we have, ah, okay, we have Suzy all primed and ready. So we have a lucky draw. Four, two, we, we're going to select two winners, right? For the cap. Yeah, two winners for the cap. And... Um, your name will appear on 
the spinner wheel as well as at the bottom there there's a there's a banner right so you can't really see how your is that my name i'm not quite sure okay on the banner that's the deciding factor right it's real big and huge so you can spot it easily okay so we're going to go for the first round we're going to spin Susie up are we ready in three two one and spin her Whoosh. Is Susie spinning? Su yeah, Susie spinning and she's spinning, spinning. Susie, come. Come on, Susie. Let's pick a winner. And who will this be? Who will this be? Susie slowing down, right? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Christopher. Christopher, are you here with us? If you are, Christopher, congratulations. You are the lucky winner for an Orca Torch premium dive cap. No, it's a, dive, it's a cap. Congratulations, you're the winner of an Orca Tosh Premium Cap. Baseball style cap. Okay, so we're going to... What we, what we normally do next, right, is to remove uh, the winner's name from the list to give other people, other folks, a uh, better chance of winning. Okay, so Christopher, congratulations. And we're moving on to the next spin for a, uh, uh, an Orca Torch premium cap. Are you ready? Any comments? No? In three, two, one, and spin it. Dish, dish, dish. Su spin, Susie, spin, spin, Susie, spin. Susie spinning. I think Susie is a little bit like groggy, you know, because like it's early in the morning. Well, actually, no, it's almost 11, right? But Susie sleeps in late, so, you know, it's early for her. Ah, Dirk. Dirk Hovel. Dirk, congratulations. You're the winner for... Okay, this is the last Orca Torch cap. So, you're the winner for that, Dirk. Congratulations. We're just going to remove uh, Dirk's name from the list. And then, we're going to proceed to the next item, which is the dry bag. So let me just, let, let's give our producer a little bit of time and uh, I'm going to entertain you. I need to take up some skills, you know, to be able to entertain you guys while these things are going on. As of right now, um, I, I don't have any, I, I can't, I, I wanted to juggle the lights last time, but my producer has banned that activity off the list. She said, no juggling on my floor. You know, I said, but there's impact resistance, you know, it's like, one, this is not, it's one and a half meters impact resistance, come on. She said, no, it doesn't work that way. Okay, so no juggling. So maybe I'll take 2021 to learn up a new skill so that I can <laughs> entertain you guys while we wait for this. Is, is, uh, are we ready? Is Susie okay? Did, did you check with Susie? Yeah. yeah? So Susie's all right. Uh, she's a little bit sleepy still, but uh, we're good to go. So next, uh, we're going to have the lucky draw. Two winners are going to be taking back. Two winners are going to be taking back a dry bag from Orca Torch. It's bright orange, high vis, ripstop, and uh, tarpaulin material. So really durable. And Susie's all ready. Okay, we're going to tell Susie to go on in three, two, one, and go! Go, Susie, go! Go, go, go! Go, Susie, go! Go, go, go! Okay, who will Susie pick? Hey, the last time we had uh, uh, Azali as a, as a streak, right? He had a winning streak. So I wonder if this time Azali will also win. <laughs> Craig Armstrong, I know him. Craig Armstrong, congratulate. Oh wait, this is Craig from Alabama. Am I right? Craig Armstrong from Alabama. Am I right? Yeah. Craig Armstrong, congratulations. You're the winner for a dry bag from Orca Torch. Yeah, now you can go to the ocean in style. Okay, next, we're going to prepare Susie for the next spin. And uh, just give us a, a short moment. So, how's it going so far? All right, how are you doing? Yeah, so we're gonna, uh, if, if this is going well, right, we're going to be having our live stream uh, at the same time, um, 10 a.m. on 
Well, it's my Saturday, so in US it should be your Friday night. Uh, do let us know. So far, I've been getting some positive uh, feedback uh, on the on the on the chat on the comments, saying that uh, it's perfect timing. So that that's good. So for us, we just have to wake up a little bit early, but it's not like th that early, you know. So yeah, it it still it works for us. Um, so let's move on. Are we ready? Is Susie okay? Susie says she's all right. My producer says she's good to go too. So we're going to go for, uh, this is the last lucky draw winner for the dry bag. Okay, ready Susie, in 3, 2, 1, let's go Susie, go, go Susie, go, 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 go. Dry bag, huh? dry bag, dry bag, okay, I've got no favourites here, but this is always an exciting time to watch. So that I can congratulate the winner. It's always an exciting. Oh, she's slowing down. She's slowing down. Daniel Cardona. Daniel, where are you from, Daniel? Daniel, uh, you have won a dry bag from Orca Torch. Congratulations. It's going to be an excellent Christmas for everyone, right? So congratulations, uh, Daniel. You have won a dry bag. This is a really huge dry bag. You know, most of my dry bags are, are smaller. I, I don't really have such huge dry bags. Because uh, most of the things that I need, uh, I don't bring many stuff with me on the boat. Most of the things I already carry, you know, it's my camera, my lights, uh, the rest are on my BCD. But this bag lets you carry more than your phone. <laughs> okay, so I've always wanted a dry bag. Well, actually now I have it. Yay! And so does Daniel. Uh, do yeah, and, uh, and Craig. Great. Okay, so, ah, okay, somebody says works for most of us too. Who's, who's he? Ah, okay, Dijan, I would, that the winners have to be, pre oh yeah, this is something we, we need to work on. Who's that? Matt. Matt says, uh, I would ask that the winners have to be present. You know what, Matt? I 100% agree with you. Uh, we'll be working something out together with Orca Torch and we want to, I've been noticing this right, um, we want to make sure that, as what Matt says, I agree, we want the winners to be in the live stream to be able to receive the gifts, right? So uh, moving forward, we will prepare for this uh, in the following uh, live streams. Thanks for that Matt, I agree with you. <laughs> Okay, um, so this is going to be the last lucky draw for your night USA and for my morning Malaysia. This is going to be the last lucky draw and this is the grand prize for the D710 Dive Torch. Yeah? Okay, so let's prime Susie up. Susie, okay or not? Susie says, okay, we're ready to go. Okay, Susie. This is for, you know, Christmas and New Year. So we're real excited about this. All right, Susie, in three, two, one, spin. Susie, spin, Susie, spin, Susie, spin. Okay, how is Susie doing right now? Who will be the winner? I hope this winner is present in the live stream so we can congratulate him. Then down under, then down under, you sound like you're from Australia, are you? Then are you present? Are you present then? If you are, do drop us a comment in the comment box below. Okay, so then you have won yourself an Orca Torch, where is it? An Orca Torch D710. Yeah, you've won yourself an Orca Torch D710. Congratulations. So he's the lucky winner for tonight and the final winner. And okay, so I think we are more or less uh, done with our Christmas edition live stream. So we will be planning USA. We will be planning for the next. Yeah, who said that? If winner is not here, right? I think you mean that if winner is not here, please draw again. Okay, so we'll we'll do that in the following streams, right? Because right now we're like kind of caught off guard and this is a new concept. 
that the winner has to be present. I agree with that. So, uh, okay, that's fine. I, I feel you. The next round, the following live streams, we will plan and discuss for this. My producer says, you know, we will plan and discuss and make sure, okay, we will plan for this so that the winner should be here during the live stream. Uh, if the winner is not here during the live stream, what contingencies are we going to take, right? So, well, anyway, I want to thank you for joining us. And uh, I see USA, you're really, really, um, how do you call it, proactive, yeah, and really interactive in this live stream. Thank you so much. And I want to wish everyone, uh, before that, uh, let's just go to the, okay, these are my social media handles. And then we'll have Orkato's social media handles as well. Yeah, so if you've got anything, you can follow us. And uh, let's, let's see. So my name is Baron, and we'll be having more live streams with you at this time, this kind of timing at 10 a.m. my time. I think yours would be about 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Uh, okay, so I want everyone to have a very blessed Christmas and a Happy New Year. And especially, stay safe, dive safe. It's Baron here. Have a good night, good morning, good evening. Thank <laughs> you.